Man exists with what he knows. I wanted to know, and I turned my face to books. I wanted neither wealth nor fame, because in my view, all the treasures of the world are not worth a single book. I believed in science, and I believe in God. That's how I turned from a petite jihad to a grand jihad. That's how I heard the sound of the books. They called him Haji Khafa in the West. He was the greatest scholar of the Ottomans, the ruler of three continents. He inspired his benighted people by his intellect, works and knowledge. The story of life devoted to books is the story of his life. With the name he deserved, the scholar who speaks with books or, as we know, Katib Chelebi's life. It was the age of Galileo, the famous scholar, the great physician Viven and Torricelli in Italy, mathematician Ferma in France, and also Pascal, the scholar in Switzerland, when he was born in Istanbul in Fatih in 1609, with the name Mustafa. Even so, his contemporaries put his name for their century. In 1624, when he was only 15, the first time he met with war and his painful face when he joined the Tarjan and Baghdad expeditions with the Ottoman army as a clerk. During this expedition, with the greatest army of his age he joined, he visited the second-hand booksellers of each area with an endless enthusiasm. He would have found his spirit in these books he collected. At the end of ten years and many expeditions now, by his saying, the time turning from a petit jihad to a grand jihad has come. So he committed himself to science, that he found the truth and inner peace after years. Therefore, he attended all the lessons given by the famous scholars of the period at the madrasas, from history to medicine, to geography and astronomy. Now. There is only signs for him and the delight he got from it. Just in this period, he spent 300,000 akches of his money that remained from his father and descended from a rich relative's death to books. He found friendship, love and happiness in the eternal world that books opened for him such that some days he had his nose in books from sunset to sunrise, he realized that morning came after the sun rised significantly. Exactly ten years passed in that way. Ten years together with books. He read and read and read. Book, book is how favorable and, and nice, nice friend. friend. Man is never bored from talking with it. It is the most generous of the generouses, so never act stingily from awesome pearls existing in itself. Gives them to both the haves and have nots. The famous historian Shehrizade tells the following story about him. One day, Katib Chelebi was a guest of Sheikh Ul Islam Yahya's mansion. After the conversation continued for a while, Yahya Effendi asks, Chelebi, it is said that there are books about Ottoman history over 1,000 in your house. Is that right? Chelebi answers, It is supposed to be so. But he felt from his eyes that Sheikh Ul Islam Yahya Effendi didn't believe him. The day after he loaded 1,300 books different from each other on 10 mules,
and brought them to Yahya Effendi's mansion. Yahya Effendi was surprised when he saw the mules loaded with books. Katib Celebi, His Majesty, these are only hardcover books. In my house, there are more than these, but all paperback. Although the period he lived in was very difficult times, that the collapsing term for some institutions and its organs in Ottoman state and subversive Jalali rebels, the empire, and also raising the Islamic fanaticism started by Kadizade Deliler, also outside, in addition to negative reflection of the creed war on economy of empire with the discovery of America, golds and silvers, carried to Europe, drawing to crisis the finance of the Ottoman state, Katib Celebi made a great contribution for destroying the Islamic fanaticism permanently by trying to inform the public and raising awareness and committed himself to learn science, think and create in all areas, from geography to medicine, history to philosophy, astronomy to physics. In his first chief work called Arabcha Fezleke, which is Arabic records, completed in 1642, Kaitib Celebi gave a bibliography of his chief works at history. In the same book, he listed events from the creation of world to the states established till that time and the important events also in the Türkçe Fezleke, which is Turkish records, continue of the first book. After listing chronologically the events between 1591 and 1654, told about the life stories and chief works of politicians and scholars. In those days, in the West, his contemporary Galileo was on trial at Inquisition because of the realities he discovered by observations. And Galileo was saying, the world is round. Also, he took the world from the center of the universe, like Copernic discovered a century ago, and put the sun instead and claim that our world is only a round-shaped thing, rotating around the sun as well, and he explained all of them with exactly right scientific theories. Experiences were too much for the Catholic Rome Church, which was tending to lose its old power. To catch immediately and push this atheist scholar who was conflicting with all the doctrines they claim till today, even laughing at them to turn back to the so-called right way, have become the biggest target of the Roman Church. Despite everything, after he apologized on his knees, while standing up, he whispered to his back, world is turning anyhow. Katib Celebi was supporting Galileo's this claim in Jahannuma at Ottoman, but he was not put on trial for leading arguments like those of Galileo. Because unfortunately, no one was reading them. In his third chief work, Takvimut Tevari, wrote in this period, he also gave a chronology of historical events passed from the beginning of time to that time. This excellent chief work, influenced within the state, Katib Celebi assigned to Second Caliphate. My purpose in all my endeavor is the highest level and greatest happiness for persons is to know God, especially know where we came from and where we will go. In my opinion, science is an instrument to recognize God the Almighty. Location and position were nothing for him. 
Here, for this reason, he never departed from the truth he knew, and he said it without hesitation. When his nice qualification combined with his justice and intelligence, he was always effective on state administrations and the public. Rational solutions brought by discussions and type of taking the problems on his hand was admired by everyone. My only fear comes from God, the Creator. I have no fear of the Created, whether they be rich or strong. Everyone is equal in my view, as in God's sight. He didn't hesitate to advise in Mizanul Haq even a sultan like Murad IV sitting on the supreme position of state authority. In my opinion, the befitting advice to Sultan, His Majesty, is that they may try to know about details of treasury, army and public works, but belonging to his knowledge by contenting himself with religion and science subjects as much as knowing Islamic articles by performing religious duties and obligations. They may get lessons from status of states by reading history, like their elder ancestors and learning of public customs and traditions. They may drive the old law of great empire with softness or hardness, whatever is the need of each age. Other politicians and notables of royalty may help their benefactors in that way and help to want their wellness as much as they can. In this period, Finance of Ottoman realized that especially state finance has to be regulated for saving from the financial bottleneck, and the commission was assembled. Kaitib Chilebi was also invited to this commission because of the importance of his position. So he presented Lustur Amel, which he wrote for the purpose of informing the requirements to be done to regulate the failures to divan. In my opinion, that the great Ottoman Empire is an unproductive period. Authorized people have to realize the signals of it and take measures. The sentences he wrote in his report are in a way principles that even today's politicians must take into account. Despite this, he knew very well that what he said in his book was going to fall on deaf ears. However, I know that my report won't be taken into account and won't be implemented. But my main fear is that God will say to me on the judgment day, you were a scholar of your country. Why didn't you see these failures and give the solutions? Why didn't you do your own? At that time, I can save myself by showing my report that I did on my own. In one chief work of his, Jalebi explains Europeans' religions, kings, administration styles, and the issues they are progressing to next generations. Jalebi placed the word democracy for the first time ever to literature with this chief work. Not only democracy, but also many new concepts about politics and science and history, such as monarchy, aristocracy, democracy, constitution, parliament, gentlemen, and academy entered the literature by Katib Chelibi's surveys. Katib Chelibi completed his best and brightest chief work that he opened a new page in geography, Jihan Numa, based on Islamic geography, and also the Batlamius theory, fundamental of Christian geography and Western literature after long studies in his term. Although his first Jihan Numa had so many maps, including Ottoman Europe, Anatolia, Spain, and North Africa, before he arranged the book, the Mercator's Atlas he obtained 
prompted him to write the second Johannema. He benefited from Mercator's Atlas Minor and Cluverius and Lorenz, the Western geographer's creations on west and on east from old Arabic, Iranian and Ottoman creations. Johannema, after an introduction chapter, oriented to prove that the world is round-shaped, then introduced the Asian countries starting from Japan. In the end, he pointed that the information mistakes in Islamic geography came from not using maps. Thus again, he did many definitions over his time, especially with his excellent illustrations, universe model and world maps, included exact definitions that can now be obtained with technical equipment. The work was one of the first printed creations in Ottoman times when it was printed by Ibrahim Mutefergica in 1732. It was translated into many Western languages, guiding scores of Western voyages for centuries. Some, Some parts, parts from Jahanima. The name Europe, reproduced from the name Europania, the beloved of Damascus and Maghreb sons. Italy province is still the center of power and the culture of Greeks. Portugal have some ideas to occupy coasts of West India, Hejaz and Yemen. Alexander the Great didn't go on a world trip like the Islamic literature claimed. He only went on an eastern trip. The New World has an eternal wealth about valuable minerals. There aren't any clans honoring the higher authority as much as Japan. He left an age who recorded his name and creations of 27 behind him, when his short life that he fit many creations like these ended suddenly on a Saturday on October the 6th, 1657. While we were celebrating him with appreciation, after all now scholars are establishing the fundamentals of populations as he predicted, even religion and science are not fighting against that they are completing each other. And we sometimes don't see the paths he left on the world and we just go without noticing them. Who knows? Maybe he's still going around these booksellers within the lines of the books he was addicted to with love or the corners of the far countries he always wrote about and watching us from above with a smile. And as Katib Chalibi said, centuries ago, the biggest enemy of a person is in reality the thing that they know nothing about.